the walls were white. The flame was red, but her eyes were blue. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been building my kitchen cabinets and I was quite overwhelmed with the task at the start thinking it would be too hard like building drawers and stuff like that. So I was considering getting someone to build them for me but decided to give it a go um, and it really hasn't been as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, everything seemed to work out well so hope you enjoy. So instead, I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you The skin was soft The laugh was light But my heart was heavy Though it was a fight Not thinking of you But I was thinking of you So this is what they call the carcass of the cabinets I'm not a big fan of the word but we'll go with it so I've built the, this is the base here. Um, these are like the divider things between the cabinets. And what I've done, so this is the back. I've cut little grooves in the bits at the back. I don't want to put a whole sheet of ply on the back to save on weight and to, for accessibility to get to the plugs and everything. I'm just going to have this along the back. So I'm going to screw that down and that should strengthen it and hold it in place so that's all together so this is the back of the cabinets and for the feet i've got these little plastic adjustable cabinet feet so you screw them on there and then this bit twists and you can adjust it because most likely the floor is going to be uneven and just so i can get it even with the windowsill here. These were super easy to put on and I've put them all at the same height and I'll just adjust them as I need once I put it upright. I just cut out these wee holes so that you can fit, so I can fit the plugs into their sockets there, and that's for the gas. So this is the bench top I've got. It's a bit of Cody. Um, my dad and granddad have had it stored away for over 10 years so I've just pulled it out to use. It's um, 700 deep this way um, which is what I need and it was really hard for me to find anything that was 700 deep because most bench tops are 600 deep. Um, I think it was an old workbench like for woodworking or something there's quite a few bangs in it i've given it a sand but i've kept it with a few of the bangs because i think it tells a story and i'm just planning on oiling that to finish it off i push it down i bury it and I flirt with sorrow And the company I keep To stop thinking of you To stop thinking of you Look at it! It's so cool! I love it. So this is where my sink's going. This is all workspace. And then gas cooker, pop-up rain shot at the back, my little convection oven's going to go under there, cupboards, I'm having a dishwasher drawer there, and a drawer underneath, then the sink will be there, and then cupboards underneath. In this little area, I'm going to build a separate little 
island thing. So it'll be a breakfast bar there most of the time, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it on caster wheels so it can come out and turn the kitchen into an L and then it can also pull out fully and then you could sit four people around it, maybe six at a push. But yeah, that's the plan for that little area. This is my, my downdraft extractor fan, so it pops up from the bench. I've just plugged it in, plugged all the pieces together to see which way it works and make sure it's um, going the right way before I install it. So I'm just going to open it for the first time. Oh, no. Whoa. Look at it go. Yay, it's the right way. I don't have to change it. Whoa. Looks like it's from the future. Sick. I think that blue stuff comes off, hopefully, because it's not the prettiest. But yay, it's all around the right way. You just have to hold it for two seconds, that's why I couldn't get it working before. It's going to be the fanciest thing in my house. Cut the hole for the sink that's going to sit up under here. It's an undermount sink, so I'll be able to just wipe anything straight into the sink. And I've sanded around these edges, and I've also cut the holes for the gas cooker and the rain shed at the back. And I tried them out, and they look so beautiful! Yay! So I just put the first coat of oil on the bench top. I'm using sunflower oil, just a nice neutral cooking oil, so um, it won't affect my food when I'm cooking or anything. So I'll probably need two or three coats on there. It's brought out the orangeness of the wood. start building the drawers today but I forgot to pick up the drawer runners yesterday so I don't really want to start building them without the, the exact measurements of the runners so I'm just trying to do odd jobs around the place so I'm I've just cut out some of this fell cut of plywood and I'm filling in the doorway and I'll glue and nail that and then eventually put some architraves around there to finish that off nicely building the drawers today I picked up these drawer runners took me a while to decide which um, type I wanted I went with the push to open ones rather than the soft close because I couldn't decide if I wanted handles or not or I don't know what I'm gonna do for handles yet so I decided just to get push to open ones so just gonna try and figure out how to use these I just watched a wee YouTube video and then I'm going to build the drawers out of this 12mm plywood 
uh, all the videos I watched on how to build drawers, I didn't particularly like any of them, so I'm just gonna <laughs> do my own way and hope for the best. So if you're gonna build drawers yourself, probably don't want, don't go off this video because I'm just making it up. Here's my first drawer. I started with the smallest one. So I've just drilled holes and screwed everything together. So it feels really strong. So I've attached the runners to the drawers and I've also attached them to the cabinets. I'm gonna have a go at fitting it in. I have a feeling it's gonna be too tight, so yes. Go. Check it out. First draw done. Here's the first pantry drawer. So because my coffee machine and blender and toaster and stuff are going to go there, I was thinking this drawer would be for like cups and coffee maybe. It's nice and deep. So I'm going to need you guys to appreciate the perfectness of these pantries. So I built the, I built the cabinets before I bought these. Um, I just had to make sure I had enough room for the dishwasher over here and the oven over here. So um, whatever was left was going to be this cupboard. And then I found these RV pull-out pantries online and two of them fit in there perfectly. So I think like spices and sauces, stuff like that will go in here. But perfect that I can fit two of them right side by side. And then cutlery drawer above that. Such a big deep drawer as well. Ooh. Yeah, so that's all the drawers finished. And now I need to put polyurethane all over everything to protect it. I'm just using the same water-based polyurethane in a flat finish that I used on the walls. Just to make it all look the same. I didn't really want glossy, so... Now I'll just clean everything down because it's super dusty in here and then start coating the plywood. <laughs> so I've done three coats of the water-based polyurethane on all the drawers, all the cabinets, the stairs. So it's now time to put them all back together. The flame was red, but her eyes were blue. So instead, I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you. Her skin was soft, her laugh was light, but my heart was Wouldn't let me help, would you? No, no, no.
So I've got the extractor fan all installed. So here's the duct box and I just need to get some ducting for the hole. I think that's the box that powers it. So I've got that all connected up and then there's the thing that plugs into the wall that'll go down over there. <laughs> Stoked. Now I can put the shelf in for the oven and I can put that drawer back in. So there's the base of my kitchen cabinets pretty much finished. I put all the appliances in just because I wanted to see how it looked. Can't wait to actually cook in here. Just need to put the sink under. I've got a black granite sink so matches everything else. Um, I have a dishwasher drawer here. I'm just going to let the plumbers install that though um, after I've moved my house to its location and so just now I've just got to build the um, like cupboard doors and drawer fronts and stuff so I think I'll leave it there for this video thanks so much for watching bye just when I